Well met travellers, today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be unboxing this game here. The reason I want to do an unboxing is because I want to open it. I mean, <clears throat> I want to um, just show off what's inside and just show off all my uh, big box PC games that I collect. Anyway, let's get on with it. So, this is... Let's zoom in on that. Oh, you can see me. Hello. It's very shiny. V2000 by David Braben. This is um, something of a follow-up to a game called Virus, which was released in the 80s, so the V is essentially Virus. So you could call it Virus 2000 if you want, which sounds a bit cooler, I think. Uh, either way, it works. Uh, on the front we've got this um, rather jackal from Halo 3 looking beastie with wings. Uh, and we've also got some stickers. These are actually on the box, they're not on the seal, because, of course, this is sealed, as you can probably tell. Uh, what does this say? You can barely read it on camera, there we go. A compulsory purchase by PC Zone Classic. Oh, hang on, it's PC Zone and they've called it a classic. That makes more sense. And PC format, this one's gold for some reason. It has, hang on, I can barely read it in this light. It has that magic ingredient called gameplay, and it has it in spades. What else have we got on the edge? We've got V2000, oh yeah, the Grolia Interactive, you may remember them from um, Tank Racers, which was that fun game. What have we got on the back here? Is this shiny? Or is it sort of metallic? I have no idea. We will find out, I guess. The follow-up to the classic art, uh, 80s hit Virus. Should have done some research on Virus before looking at this. Oh well. Brought to you by gaming guru David Braben. I assume it's pronounced Braben, not the Apple Braben. V2000 plunges you into a series of surreal worlds where virus spotting, spitting giant spiders and exploding nuclear reactors are part of everyday life. Dot, 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 dot. That's too many dots if you want an ellipsis. You only have three. Terrible. Rescue people and set them to work. Blimey, well, it's like Age of Empires. Ooh, Take over the alien possessed creatures and turn them against each other. I'm reading it through the viewfinder for whatever reason. Only by using your brains as well as your bombs will you stop the virus from destroying your worlds. A long overdue update to a great game. Editor PC Format. I've already had a review from PC Format. Are they the only two people who reviewed it? That and PC Zone? Who knows? Let's have a look at the screenshots. They're uh, not very representative. Although we do have a big uh, spider thing in there, which is cool. Spiders are pretty cool in general. That looks like the bonus stage from Sonic, doesn't it? That just looks like a mess, you can barely tell what's going on. And that looks like a level from um, the PS1 game, The Lost World. Uh, we've got some guff here, we don't need to read all that, do we? 8 player deathmatch, that could be fun. Uh, we can have a look at the addresses and things. They don't exist anymore. I bet that website doesn't exist either. Um, let's have a look down here, we've got a teeny tiny little logo of Frontier Developments. You can barely even tell it says Developments. I only know that because I know the company and sentience.net who knows and of course since this is sealed it will stay sealed because obviously it's a more valuable collector's item if it's sealed um, all the stuff inside will stay absolutely safe uh, who am I kidding any collectors who leave all their games sealed look away now I've just got to hope I don't stab the box Oh dear, it's going to be tricky. Uh, hang on, let's cut here. That makes more sense. Uh, no, come on. Let's give it another go. Oh, there we go. The first human touch since 1998. Just got to be careful not to ruin the box by pulling the cellophane too hard. There we are. Beautiful. Oh. I bet many people are cringing at this. A lot of people leave the game sealed, which is something I don't, I don't generally agree with, just because I want to see what's inside the box. What's the point of having a box if you can't look inside it? I suppose you could make an artistic comment, but um, I choose not to. So. It's kind of crushed, actually. That's no fault of my own, it came like that. And something I'd like to point out, actually, while we're here. Just uh, observe 
the girth of it. I just want to compare it to Fallout 2 because it's kind of thin. Look. I'm very thin. Not Fallout 2, sorry, Fallout 1. Fallout 2 is incredibly expensive. That's why I don't have it. Love to have it though. Uh, yeah, you can probably tell how concave it is from this um, shininess. I wonder if there's a way to fix that. Well, it's not too bad. It could be worse. Oh, and we're going to get it open now without ruining it. It's got one of them awkward things where it's sort of two parts. Uh, like all the... Oh, God, I don't know how to pronounce that company. Eidos? Eidos? Yeah. All the Tomb Raider games have this style of box, and it is awkward. Better get it open. Come on. Although, I suppose it's better than the other style of box where it's possible to um, rip it quite easily. Oh dear. Bear with me. And there we go. Okay, we've got the world's tiniest game manual. Quite why they didn't put it in the jewel case, it's beyond me. Oh yeah, that's that's new that. Oh, it's got that sort of grainy feel to it. Mmm, lovely. Yes. So I've got the game manual. Epilepsy warning. Oh no, if you're epileptic, don't watch this. I mean, um, don't play this game. Yeah. I can tell you exclusively, actually, that this game plays a little bit like a 3D version of Defender. Not unlike that uh, Defender game on PS2, which I have. Registration card. Don't miss out. What's the, um... Well, there's no date on it. I imagine this is quite out of date by now. I won't be able to register it. Which non-computer related magazines do you free most frequently read? Please place an order of preference. What genre of products interest you? That's a bit vague, isn't it? Games, adult multimedia and children's multimedia. What, <laughs> what computer do you use? PC or Mac? I'm buying this if I had a Mac, would I? Mac model. Oof, I don't have a Mac. Unfortunately, I would like an iMac G3, in case you're wondering, because they're pretty cool. And here is the game itself. Oh dear, it's, um, it's brought the box with it. Come on. God. Who designed this? From the Grolier Interactive. The Fools. Come on. There we are. Fingerprints, fingerprints. Ha ha ha. And there's the ship. And there is the disc, which is wonky. I've never understood that. You'd think all the, any brand new discs that you get, you'd think they'd be the right way up, wouldn't you? But, um, they never are. Yeah. That's B2000. Oh, and uh, just an added thing there. There's Grolier Interactive logo in the box. Something that really annoys me is the fact that we don't actually have a definitive, like, who's the developer? We're not the Grolier Flipping published it. Who's the developer for crying out loud? Does it say in the back? I'm guessing Frontier Developments, but uh, no, let's have a look. Credits, yeah. Okay. Additional music performed courtesy of Sentience. Okay, so the um, music's by Sentience. Oh, not the camcorder there. Brilliant. So who's the game by? Oh dear. Yeah. One assumes it'll tell you when you start the game, but I think that's a bit cheeky that they don't tell you in the box. Actually, I'll leave that out because I need to put the CD elsewhere. Anyway, put this knife away before it makes a hole in something. And I will see you all next time. Cheerio.